It's 10 minutes before 8 o'clock. Welcome back to Great Day for this Monday. It's the 4th of May, Jackie, which means we're less than a month away from the Principal Charity yeah, Class. Yeah, one of the biggest events we have in this community. Very excited to have it come around once again. Yeah, we have the tournament director, uh, Greg Conrad, joining us here in studio with us. And a guy that was able to hoist the big trophy last year. Tom Priest Jr. here joining us. Congratulations, first oh, yes. and foremost, for uh, for winning last year, and uh, see if you could do it again this year. Yeah. Less than a month away. Yeah, it was exciting, but it's great to be back. Now, you won last year at a playoff, right? Playoff, yes. Yeah, and it seemed like that was uh, the norm for you because you finished up the year by doing the same type of thing. So he won in a playoff, gets to the playoff situation, Jackie, and he goes, you know what? I, I had so much fun in Des Moines. I'm going <laughs> to do it one more time. Was it the last event of the year last year? That yeah, you it was again? the Charles Schwab Cup Championship uh, out in Scottsdale, Arizona, and uh, was in a playoff with her ex uh, player. Her she was her caddy, yep. Jay Haas. Jay Haas. So, uh, and, a good and, friend of mine, so uh, rather not have to do it, but I was fortunate enough both times to be lucky enough to get both wins uh, with the playoffs. Now, you've been involved in quite a few golf tournaments, obviously, uh, to be at the yes. league that you are. How does it compare to coming to Des Moines for this particular tournament? Well, for me, I grew up in Kansas City. To come back to the Midwest and be able to play and then be fortunate enough to win was very special for me. And my family was all up here from Kansas City and got to see that. So uh, when that happens, it's a lot of fun and pretty special. Yeah, but, very special. You know, the roots and the people here in Des Moines uh, really says a lot to, to us as players to come back and really notice the hospitality and, and the difference. So. Uh, it's a pretty special event. Biggest charity uh, organization in terms of the dollars that are donated to charities out on the Champions Tour comes from right here in Des Moines and the Principal Charity Classic. So their commitment to the local dollars going to the hospitals and the community here is really important and really big. So uh, that really makes this event so special. Yeah, a lot of people might not realize it. For one, it is an amazing golf event, mm -hmm. but what it gives back to our community is just huge. Uh, it's fantastic, and, and Tom hit the nail on the head. It, uh, last year we gave uh, $1.367 million back to charity, wow. and our goal this year is to do over 1.5 for the year 2015, and uh, we just oh, yeah. have fantastic support from the community. And that, honestly, the people are what make the, de uh, the event uh, the difference here in Des Moines is the people that come out and support it and the, and the corporations and, and I got to tell you Tom was fantastic he's been up since since 5 30 this morning doing interviews and doing things around the golf course and around town to just to just promote the event so what's yeah. really amazing yeah. is when this thing first started up when the principal charity classic first started the buzz at this city uh, experience was unbelievable and everybody was interested in the principal charity classic well, I think the, the fun thing, too, is, as Tom and I were talking on the way over, not only is this a golf tournament, but, but kind of as you point out, Jackie, it's also a social event. It's the place mm -hmm. to be, and we want you know, this now that we're a week later this year, so school will be out. So this is the, this is the way to kick off summer and, and start the summer right and come out and enjoy the, enjoy the great weather, enjoy a little golf, and uh, we've got some great things going on in the tournament that are not necessarily about golf, but about just having a good time and, and some music playing and some different activities. So I was going to say, even if you're not a huge golf fan, I have nothing against it. I've just, it's not my thing. You have a blast going to this event. The people you meet and the great things that are going on. So we recommend anyone, if you've never experienced it, you got to check it out. It's one of a kind. Uh, but we're already starting to kick it off. Like you guys are making the rounds this morning. We're already getting the buzz going on uh, less than a month away. What, is, what else is coming up to get people excited? Well, we got we have media day coming up uh, today, this afternoon. So uh, we're going to, Tom's going to be out there um, doing a clinic for 250 fifth graders from four uh, elementary schools in Des Moines. Wow. So uh, um, we're very excited to see what Tom does with 250 kids. That'll always be interesting. I'm excited to see that uh, too. <laughs> I'm always find out how many golf balls you're going to lose here this afternoon. Well, you know, it's nice to have the kids out. I mean, to be able to get 200 and some, 250 people out. I mean, you know, they're they're the future of the game at some point, and the first tee programs are doing a great job throughout the country. And to have them involved and in, in really getting it started is great. Uh, so it's a good way to get started. When did you first start? I was playing? about five years old. My father was a five good player, so I started when I was about five. And wow. Uh, so I've been doing it for quite some time. When, it, when did you start swinging and you're like, you know what, this is what I want to be doing the rest of my life? Well, you know, I grew up in Kansas City, so, you know, by the time I was, you know, 14, 15, Tom Watson was 25 and just getting on the tour. So he was someone 10 years ahead of me that I always looked to and had great success and went to school at Stanford. And I followed and went out to the West Coast and went to UCLA. So Tom Watson kind of was always my way to continue to look forward and uh, kind of kept me going. And that's what I always wanted to do. Nice. You came out of UCLA and then went pro immediately? Uh, I did. It took me three years to get on the tour, uh, but I, I got my card and uh, played on and off. Played a couple years in Europe there in the middle, but uh, pretty much played all around the world and uh, played the tour for What's almost What's the hardest years. part about getting your card? Well, you, every year on the regular tour, there's a thousand and some kids that enter the qualifying school and 25 people get their card. 
So, That's and it? then once you get your card wow, after 25 people, then you have to finish in the top 125 on the money list against the greatest players in the world to be able to maintain your status or win a tournament. So, it's uh, true capitalism at its finest wow. in terms of show up, compete, uh, play good, uh, or go back to qualifying school the next year. So, it's uh, a lot harder than people think. I, yeah, it, it's, and you know when you're with a professional, when I had the amazing opportunity to caddy for Jay Haas, it, it's incredible what goes into it, but when you're good, oh, man, is it fun to watch. It's like, <laughs> I just lose golf balls over the place, but you can figure it out. No, we're golfing in a couple of hours. You and I are, are golfing in a couple of hours. Uh, That's what any, they claim. Do you have any tips here for two uh, novices here? <laughs> for, what is it, chipping? What am I chipping. doing? Yeah, chipping. 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 Yeah. chipping. yeah. Okay. We're going to reenact Tom, Tom's up. Uh, uh, chip shot on 17 that you hold out to, to prepare him to get in the playoff. We're going to try to reenact See that. if we can do that? Okay, yeah. yeah. So we'll what are some pointers? Check your skills out. <laughs> 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 what are some pointers for chipping? What do, I, what do we need to know? Uh, boy, that's tough. Uh, I don't know. If you we'll give see. it, you put it back. Okay. 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 Is, do you have to hit it a certain way? Where, like, you're, it's, not, it's not the full... No, we're only going to go 10 yards, so it's a short little shot. So. Okay. It's not going to be easy. Swing through the ball. Be I'm the ball, Danny. We'll even tee it up for you on a tee. It'll make it easier. Nice. There you go. I like when people take care of me. That's this should wonderful. be good. I'll get video of this, too. This will be good. We'll show this tomorrow, okay? So a lot of exciting things already happening today as we gear up for the Principal Charity Classic. Yeah. Uh, so it's June the 2nd. Give us the dates and times and where you take tickets and all that fun yeah, stuff. Yeah, June 2nd. If you go to uh, uh, principalcharityclassic.com, you can find out all about the different ticket packages and all the ways to be involved. Um, but uh, um, we're real excited about it. It's be a great year and uh, we're excited that uh, we're going to be the kickoff to summer but again uh, principalcharityclassic.com is the, is the way to go. All there right. Well Tom we'll see you here in a little bit. Looking forward Thank to it. Thank you buddy. Thanks Thank for coming you. in. Yeah, it's be good. It is three minutes before eight o'clock.